All right, guys. Well, this is the Cena Prism Tube Wi-Fi action camera being recorded on a mucky, rainy day. Hey guys, Backpack Mikey here. I'm just doing a quick video today on the Cena Prism Tube Wi-Fi action camera, and I'm going to be installing it into the Simpson Carbon Ghost Bandit helmet today. But before we go ahead with that install, I figured we'd go over some of the features that this Prism Tube has to offer, and Wi-Fi being one of them, which is definitely a pretty cool feature. Uh, what I love about this is, if you're about to do a race, a mountain bike race, motorcycle race, or if you're doing a moto vlog or something like that where the camera angle is very important, uh, when you're putting your helmet on, you could accidentally bump that camera um, or you're just kind of guessing to the position that it needs to be in. With this, you can download the app and then get live video footage to your phone, which is definitely cool because you might wind up doing an important race. You're thinking you're filming the whole thing. You get home, you're excited, you download it, and you only got video of your front tire. Not cool. So with this, you can right before the race, you can make sure the cam camera angle is correct, you know, and you head out and do your thing. Another cool feature with the Wi-Fi is you can share your videos pretty much anywhere. So if you just did your race and you want to share it with your family, friends, or what have you, you could literally download it to the app in the parking lot, then shoot it over to your buddies before you even start heading home. Or if you're out on the, you know, you're out on the road and you know something exciting happens, or you know you want to share it with your, you know, with your friends or your family, you literally on the side of the road can download that footage to your phone and then shoot it over to your friends as well. Um, it records in 2K, 30 frames per second, full HD, 1080p, 60 frames per second and it has a 125 degree field of view, which is definitely a pretty cool field of view. Um, internal microphone. So you don't have to run the external microphone. So if you're on a bicycle or something like that where there's not a lot of uh, motor you know, noise or what have you, you know, you don't have to run an external mic. But for somebody like me that's using it on a motorcycle between the wind, the pipes, the bike being so loud, I would have to run an external microphone. But that's not something that I would have to worry about purchasing because it does come with the camera. You Not only do you get an external microphone, you get a, um, a speaker as well. So, and again, this was a thing where I thought of, do I really need another speaker in my helmet? I'm already running the speakers for the Cena 50S. What do I need a speaker for when it comes to my you know, camera? It's actually a pretty cool option the more I thought about it. Because not only is it gonna tell you when the camera's on, but it'll actually tell you if the camera turns off. So if you're out doing a you know, moto vlog and it's a 45 minute long video or a half hour long video, and your camera turns off 10 minutes in, you're literally just driving or riding around for 20 minutes talking to yourself. Not cool. So at least with this, it'll tell you camera turned off or, you know, batteries low or what have you. So that's something that you can then pull over and take care of on the side of the road or, at, you know, at the very least, or stop recording, go home, fix the problem, and then, you know, do another recording another day. But anyway, these are just some of the um, features that this camera does have to offer. It does sound great on paper, but what do you say we do get this thing installed into this Ghost Bandit helmet, then we hit the road and see what the real live, you know, real world footage of this camera really is. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. But anyway, let's jump right in and get this thing installed. I mean, how hard can it be, right? Okay, guys, we pretty much have everything that we're going to need here to install the Cena Prism Wi-Fi action camera. So let's get started. We're installing it into the Simpson Carbon Ghost Bandit helmet today. So first thing we're going to do is uh, unsnap these three snaps on the inside of the helmet here and pull out this uh, cheek pad. Then we're going to take this mount here. We're pretty much going to mount it right here. Reason why I want to do that and mount it close enough to the front is because when we install the camera with that 125 degree field of view, hopefully it's going to clear this visor and we'll get both left and right sides of the bike. So I'm going to put this right here next to this clip and I'm not going to tighten it down yet. We're just going to put that there for now. I'm next going to uh, remove the rear cap of the camera and install the camera onto the, the mounting bracket. Reason why I want to do that is because now when we go to install the speakers, the speaker and the microphone, um, we could see, get, uh, see exactly how much wire we're going to need. That we're not going to leave too much excess wire, you know, floating around out back, flapping around. So we're going to get the exact amount of wire that we're going to need. So we're going to install this next and screw this on. Go. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to install the speaker first. Now, the speaker is going to be installed right next to the Cena 50S speaker. 
that's right over in here. So we're going to put this right to the right to the back side of that Cena 50S speaker, and we're going to have the wire is going to face the back of the helmet. Reason why I like to do that is because there's a lot more padding back here, and we could hide that wire in the padding. If we leave it more towards the front, it's uh, there's very little bit of padding where the speakers are, and you'll definitely feel it when you're taking the helmet on and off. So we want to try to make it to where it's as comfortable as possible. Next, what we're going to do is install this uh, microphone along the front of the cheek pad here. Um, we're closing off the vents. These vents are closable on the Simpson uh, Bandit. So if it turns out to be where there is still too much noise, we can go ahead and tuck that behind the cheek pad. But for right now, we're going to just install it right along the front of the cheek pad, and hopefully that'll be good enough. All right, so now we're going to just install this cheek pad. I mean, install the uh, cheek pads here. Let's we'll just make sure there's enough wire. This So this could move. Perfect. We're going to put this cheek pad back in. Perfect. Well, now there's three uh, snaps. We're going to have to reinstall those three, re-snap those in, and uh, we're pretty much good to go. So when you are, if your helmet does have snaps or, you know, like this uh, ghost banded here, you always want to make sure that you clear the wires. You definitely don't want to put a snap and snap down on a wire. If you damage the wire, not only could you lose, you know, the... Uh, the camera signal, but you could lose, you know, the, the microphone, you know, not, and not only do we have to worry about those, we have to worry about the Cena 50S speakers as well. So you always want to just be careful when you put those snaps in. Perfect. There you go. All right. So we have the microphone held down the front there. Camera's installed. Now, one other thing I want to do is I like to put the piece of rubber grommet underneath the mount here. The reason why I want to do that is because carbon can crack or crush. So that's just a little extra protection. So I'm just going to do that, tighten that down. We should be good to go. All right, perfect. All righty, let's see here. Let's turn the camera on. It should prompt us that camera is on. Let's see. Camera on. Perfect. All right, there we go. All right, Cena Prism Tube Wi-Fi Action Camera installed on the Simpson Carbon Ghost Bandit helmet. Perfect. All righty. So what do you say now? We. Uh, Get this thing put on this helmet jump on the bike and get some real world footage out there we do have some rain today so i think it will be a perfect time to to take a video you know to um you know record a video today because you know in this in the sun when the when the skies are clear and the sun is shining all cameras look great but it's how they look in the real world situations and today with this rainy you know gloomy day is definitely a real world situation so let's head out and uh let's see how it does in that All right, guys, let's uh, check out this camera. Let's see how the uh, video looks, how the audio sounds. Right now, I'm just pairing it up to my phone, making sure that the, uh, the camera angle is good. Um, yeah, we're looking pretty good there. I would think that's good. So uh, now you got to remember, I'm using a, a Simpson Ghost Bandit helmet here, so they're not known to be the quietest helmets. So we got to take that into consideration, but uh, let's go do a quick test here. It is a little muggy out. There is absolutely uh, no sun, you know, I mean, uh, well, it's very cloudy anyway. So uh, a little bit misty, a little bit of rain. So we're definitely in a, in a good scenario as far as with um, if there's going to be any bad picture quality, we'll get it now. But anyway, all right, let's fire it up and uh, we'll uh, see how this sounds. All right, guys, we're uh, testing out this Cena Wi-Fi Prism Tube action camera. It is a pretty muggy day out, a little bit of drizzle, a lot of cloud coverage, and I am using it on the Simpson Ghost Bandit helmet, which is actually not known to be the uh, quietest helmet, that's for sure. So I just wanted to get a little bit of video to see how this camera looks and how the audio sounds. All right, so this is at like 31, 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the the audio came out clear, and I hope the the video is clear as well. You're gonna get as about as clear as you're gonna be on a rainy, mucky day. Again, I know a lot of guys put their videos out there in a, a beautiful, sunny, 80 degree weather day, but this is pretty windy, rainy, and pretty cruddy out. And I figured, why not record on a day that the weather is kind of cruddy. Anybody could do a video in the sun. Let's see how this camera acts in the rain. The rain and real world weather. It's not always sunshine and donuts. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my video of this uh, Cena Prism Tube Wi-Fi action camera. Recording on this rainy, mucky, windy day. Anyway, thanks for watching. God bless and ride safe.